Hi, this is Ellen from the Chili Dog. It's sweater knitting season and I recently cast on a slipstream cardigan. So today I'd like to teach you the cable cast on that I used. And don't worry, the cable cast on doesn't involve the use of any cable needles. It's actually a fairly simple way to cast on stitches and it creates this really pretty edge on your fabric. I'm going to show you two ways to do the cast on. They create slightly different effects. Also, make sure to stay tuned to the end because I have two nifty pro tips for you. Let's get started. First, I'll show you how to do the cable cast on to create flatter stitches with a subtler edge. This is actually the method I used for the ribbing of my sweater. Like most cast ons, the cable cast on begins with a slip knot. Place it onto your left needle and pull your working yarn to tighten it up. Now take your right needle and bring it through that first stitch as if you were going to knit. Let me get my yarn tail out of the way. So bring it through the first stitch just as if you were going to knit that stitch. Wrap your yarn around and pull it through the stitch without dropping the stitch off your left needle. And then with your needle tips pointing at each other, slip the stitch from the right needle to the left. And then you can tighten things up a little bit. To cast on more stitches, insert your right needle in between the first two stitches. Wrap your yarn around, pull it through, and again with your needle tips pointing towards each other, slip the stitch from right to left. And let's do one more. Insert your right needle in between the first two stitches. Wrap your yarn. Pull it through and then slip the stitch with your needle tips pointing towards each other from right to left. And you would just continue casting on until you had the number of stitches that you needed for your project. To make a more prominent edge to your cable cast on, Things begin the same way with a slip knot. Put the stitch onto your left needle and pull the working yarn to tighten everything up. And just like before, we're going to insert our needle knitwise through the stitch, wrap our yarn around and pull it through without dropping the stitch off our left needle. And this time, instead of transferring things with our needle tips pointed towards each other, we're going to rotate that right stitch and I'm going to open it up a little bit here so you can see. I'm going to rotate that right stitch around and then insert my left needle tip through to transfer it and the tips of my needles are pointing in the same direction. Drop it off the right needle and tighten things up. So we'll continue on very similar to before. Insert your right needle between the two stitches, wrap your yarn around, pull it through and then rotate your needle and twist that stitch and slip it from right to left and the needle tips are pointing the same direction. And we'll do one more. And you would just continue on like this until you had the appropriate number of stitches cast on. Rotate around tips are pointing the same direction and then drop it off. And if it, to make it easier, you can wait to tighten things up until you have your knitting needle here between the two stitches and then tighten things up. It's up to you. I knit up a couple little swatches so we could take a close look to see the difference between the two versions of the cable cast on. When you slip your stitches purl wise with the needle tips pointing towards each other, the stitches just lie a lot flatter in this first row of your knitting, but you still get this nice twist at the edge. For our second version, we slipped our stitches from right to left knitwise with the needle tips pointing in the same direction. And here, this spiraled edge pops out a little bit more and you get a little bit more dimension in the first row of your knitting. But again, you still get that pretty cable twisted edge. 
And either version is fine, it just depends on the effect that you want to achieve with your knitting. The problem I have with both versions of this cast on happens here at the very first stitch. You'll notice that it just looks wide open and sloppy. So here's pro tip number one for fixing that hole. To neaten things up in either version of the cable cast on, start with a slip knot as before, but instead of inserting your right needle tip through that slip knot as if to knit, we're going to take the right needle and place it to the left of the slip knot. And you're going to need to hold on to your yarn tail here just to make sure things don't slip around. Once it's to the left of your slip knot, wrap your yarn around and pull it forward, still hanging on to that yarn tail, open up the stitch and transfer the stitch from right to left in whichever method you prefer. And then tighten things up. And then you would just continue casting on the same as before by inserting the right needle tip between two stitches and pulling the yarn through and passing it over. So working around that first stitch instead of through the first stitch eliminates the big hole we got. Pro tip number two helps you at the end of the cast on before you start knitting row one. And this tip also works for both methods of the cable cast on. Before you transfer this last stitch from your right needle to your left, bring your working yarn forward between your needle tips and then transfer it as you have been for the rest of the cast on. This helps neaten things up and gives you a little bit more of a corner here at the end and it prevents the last stitch from passing over the next to last stitch. I hope you enjoyed learning two ways to do the cable cast on. If you did, Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for some weekly fiber fun. Until we stitch again, happy knitting!